Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math lumped exponential equation problem and here we have 2 to the power of m plus 8 to the power of m equals to 10 and we solve this problem for the real values of m. So we solve this problem for the real values so that uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as 2 to the power of m plus here we have 8 and we make the prime factors of 8 and we know that the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed. We know that 2 cubed equals to 8 and its whole power m equals to 10. So in the next step here we need uh, some simplification and we use the nice exponential law here. So we know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of uh, n to the power of m equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. So this exponential law just tells us that if we interchange these two exponents then it will give us the same answer. So here we need to uh, change these two exponents and we write this equation as 2 to the power of m plus 2 to the power of m and its whole cubed equals to 10. So now you see here we have this is 2 to the power of m and 2 to the power of m are the same terms so that uh, we take y equals to 2 to the power of m. So now we substitute y equals 2 to the power of m to the above equation so that our above equation will be written as y plus y cubed equals to 10. So in the next step here we rearrange the term because this equation will become cubic in y variable so that we rearrange this term and we write it as y cubed plus y and we move this 10 in the left hand side and it will become minus 10 equals to 0. So in the next step uh, we make the factors of this cubic equation. So here we have uh, two methods in which uh, the one method is you can use here synthetic division or here we just directly make the factors of this cubic equation. So uh, now in order to make the direct factors of this equation we first rewrite this equation as we have this is y cubed plus y minus we break this 10 and we write it as minus 8 minus 2 equals to 0. Minus 8 minus 2 equals to minus 10. And now in the next step we make the pair of y cubed with minus 8 and it will be written as y cubed minus 8 and we write this 8 as 2 cubed and plus the remaining factors are y minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we need uh, the nice cubic formula and you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So here we use this nice cubic formula to the first factor and we write our first factor as y minus 2 times of y square and plus a b so our a is y and b is 2 so we write it as 2 y and plus b square so our b is 2 square plus y minus 2 equals to 0. So now in the next step you see here we have a y minus 2 be the common factor so we take it common and we get the remaining terms are y square plus 2y and here you see that we have 2 square and 2 square equals to 4 plus here we take common y minus 2 and we get plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. So in the next step we need some simplifications and we write it as y minus 2 times of y square plus 2y plus this 4 plus 1 equals to 5 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we have uh, two cases. So our first case is we write this y minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write y square plus 2y plus 5 equals to 0. 
so in the first case we have our y equals to 2 and this is the real value so now first we check is this uh, quadratic equation has real roots or not so here we use the discriminant formula in order to check the roots of uh, this equation so here uh, we first copy down both of these roots here so we have y equals to 2 be the first root and the second root is y square plus 2y plus 5 equals to 0 so these are the two roots uh, uh, two cases which we can copy down uh, here so now we back substitute the value of y and you see here the value of y is 2 to the power of n so now first we put this value of y in the first case and we solve this one and here you get 2 to the power of m equals to 2 so here you see that the basis on both of the sides are same so we equate its exponents so here you get the first real root of the given equation is m equals to 1 so now in order to find the other real roots first we need to check this quadratic equation has real roots or not so here we use the uh, discriminant formula so that uh, here first uh, we make the coefficients of uh, this equation so its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 5 and we know that uh, the discriminant formula is denoted by delta equals to b square minus 4 times of ac so we depend uh, the behavior of this delta uh, if the value of this delta is less than 0 it means that this quadratic vein has complex roots if the value of this data is greater than or equals to 0 then this means that this quadratic equation has real roots so we check its behavior by substituting the values of a b and c and we get 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 so we see here we have 2 square becomes 4 minus 4 times of 5 becomes here 20 so 4 minus 20 equals to minus 16 and you see here this minus 16 is less than 0 so our data is less than 0 it means that this quadratic equation has no real root so we rejected this case it has no real roots so that we rejected this case and we have only one value this is m equals to 1 so now uh, in the next we check this value is the value of m satisfies our given question or not so here we first copy down the given question statement it is 2 to the power of m plus 8 to the power of m equals to 10 and now we substitute the value of m equals to 1 here and you easily see that this is 2 to the power of 1 plus 8 to the power of 1 equals to 10 and we get 10 equals to 10 so this shows that m equals to 1 satisfy the given question statement so m equals to 1 be the only real root of this question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos